What is going on, my dudes? And dudettes. <laughs> it's showing you the SNS Serpentarium. I got the, uh, the warmer python girl out today. She's looking absolutely awesome, to be honest. Um, a real pleasure to hold as well. Now she's got a bit of girth and size on her. What a fantastic snake. But anyway, <clears throat> today we're going to talk about the absolute worst thing that I've ever seen in a reptile pet store. I'm not going to name the store. Um, I'm just going to tell you what I saw. Um, if this proves to be a popular sort of um, idea, these like snake time stories, then I, perhaps I will uh, do some more of them. Um, I don't think anyone else has uh, sort of you know done anything similar to this. Correct me if I'm wrong. So it's something that I quite fancy doing a series on, um, just talking about the things I've seen while uh, you know being in the hobby and uh, visiting different places on my travels. Perhaps sometimes as well I'll do like um, you know non-snake related stuff and just have a snake out and just you know chat nonsense about whatever. Uh, but you you're obviously coming to see the snake. So, <laughs> but anyway, um, so the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, this was about maybe two years ago. Um, I'm not exactly sure on the date. So I went to this uh, this pet shop, um, not so far from where I live, not close either. Um, it's a fair few miles away. I happened to um, to be near there sometimes for certain things. So I thought I'd pop in to see, you know, what's there and what's not there. It's a store that I used to buy food from um, when I first got snakes and stuff like that. When I was first in the hobby because I used to live up there for a bit for my studies and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I went in and um, I was looking around and I saw these, uh, I think they were, um, I don't know what kind of turtles they were. I think they were yellow... Uh, sliders or something like that I, I can't really remember it was a long time ago so i can't really remember what the turtles looked like but he had these two turtles living in um maybe a 10 gallon tank they were adult turtles as well they had literally no room at all in this in this pet store so i asked him you know can i can i get them out so i got them out well, he got them out, you know, he was showing me that they're okay to handle. I was pretending I was interested in buying them. Um, he put them on the floor. And, uh, <laughs> well, he tried to dart, basically. And rather than, like, you know, having a calm response, the guy sort of just ragged it. Um, and, yeah, that was that was pretty awful, really. Um, I'm not very good at telling stories, I don't know if you can tell. Um, I didn't report the store, I did think about it, um, but basically I just thought, well, if I report the store, then I don't really want to be dragged through court and stuff like that, you know, if it comes to it. Um, and at the end of the day, I know all pet shops do have inspections and stuff, so the inspector is clearly aware that a lot of the animals in that store or shop are living in far too um, small of enclosures. Um, enclosures that, you know, not even the worst breeders would think about keeping them in. Um, but yeah, that, that, was, that was my experience. Um, comment down below if you want to hear something else. Perhaps I'll, you know, actually try to be a better storyteller next time. <laughs> um, and I'll, you know, try to improve on my storytelling uh, in future. Um, it can be quite hard sometimes to get in front of the camera. I don't know if you're aware, but not so long ago, I lost um, my Daegu, one of my Daegu boys. Um, they're a rodent species. They're kind of similar to chinchillas. Um, he's been on really unwell for a long time. I've taken him back and for the vets, but sadly, you know, he passed away. Um, and that's really got me down the last couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty tough getting in front of the camera when you don't really feel like it. But I'll try to carry on, plow on, as they say. Um, thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. 
make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to join my armless army thank you for spending some time with me here today i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next one bye